I guess I won't be trying to do that anymore. <laughs> um, I guess I'm, I'm just really focused on um, growth of this channel. So I'm trying. I was trying to do something. Uh, late to the game, um, which, fair enough, I'm old, <laughs> I'm no, um, I'm not a savvy teen anymore, so <laughs> I don't, uh, stay up on all of the, um, you know, all the crazes all the time, so, um, how was your guys' week without me? incessantly as it is here in Oregon during the winter, but, um, but I have seen sunny days here during the winter, so it's not all bad. <laughs> it's not all crappy weather all the time, but I don't know, sometimes crappy weather's nice, so maybe it's not crappy weather after all. I think all weather has its place, right? Like when it's just been 80, 90 degrees for three weeks straight. Sometimes it's nice to just have like a break where it's, you know, 60 and raining. You just take a break from the, the hot, you know. And conversely, it's nice when there's, there's a little day of sunshine when it's been raining for weeks on end. Um, <clears throat> little known fact, just from my experience living here in Oregon, I guess it's an anecdote more than anything, but it does not rain here as much as people um, make it seem like it does, if that makes sense. Um, maybe that's just because I grew up in Alaska where it rains a lot there, too, so, um, there's actually parts of Alaska that are considered temperate rainforest, just like Washington and Oregon, so, um, where I'm from in Alaska is relatively dry, don't get me wrong, but it is still, um, what in the world? I just want that cord to stop moving around and stop making that noise. Um, where I'm from is considered dry, because in the summer, um, the weather's quite dry, even though we're, like, a coastal town, pretty much. We're only, like, I don't know, seven miles inland or something, not even. Um, but, uh, we don't get, like, we don't really get any relative humidity in the summer. It's 
woods and pretty, um, pretty dry, pretty arid in the summer where I'm from in Alaska. Um, and then in the winter, unless it's like, you know, 30, 40 degrees, it's, it's pretty dry. Like when it's down in the, you know, 20s and below, like kind of below where this, where snow falls, because snow really normally falls between 20 and 30 degrees. That's kind of the sweet spot. So once you get below that, the, the relative humidity is not that much. But anyways, um, what's my point here? <laughs> my point is, is that Alaska, kind of no matter where you're at, um, there's a lot of rain and that, you know, contributes to the greenery that's there. Um, so uh, it's, uh, Alaska's very green, obviously. So, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that's pretty much all my point is, is that I am not, um, uh, unfamiliar with rain. So maybe I just don't think it rains that much here because it rains just as much in Alaska for the most part. So, um, we are supposed to be getting some snow, I think, um, or at least freezing temperatures, um, which is going to be like 30 degrees. So, whoa, <laughs> really cold. Not really. That's pretty mild for winter, for me anyways. If you're from Southern California or something, you might be, um, you might be frozen just, for, just by me saying that, but, um, yeah, that's pretty mild, though. That's barely below the freezing temperature of water, so, but, yeah, so that's supposed to happen. We will see if that actually, um, manifests. <laughs> comes to fruition. Um, I kind of hope it does. I would really love to see some snowy trees on the, on the buttes and mountains around here. That'd be really pretty. Um, kind of remind me of home. I think, I think I've decided my favorite kind of climate is when there's four different seasons and then just like in the winter there's just like a couple weeks of snow and then that's it. Because then if I have a couple weeks of snow I can, you know, Christmas can have snow. And then I can go and snow machine, or sorry, snowmobile for all of you people that are from the lower 48 and or Hawaii or anywhere else but Alaska, because in Alaska we call it snow machining, not snowmobiling. Fun fact. Um, anyways, I could go snow machining and I could go skiing and I, yeah, I just have a couple weeks to just go play in the snow and then I can, and then I can go away. I, I don't... <laughs> I don't love the snow for more than a couple weeks, if that makes sense. When it first falls, it looks really nice. And then for a couple weeks, when you get enough snow, it's nice to go riding and skiing and all that stuff. And then I just want it to go away. We can go immediately back into spring. My ideal winter is like two or three weeks long. And then in the spring, it's a mixture of rain and sun. And it's like between 50 and 75 degrees. I would say. And then in the summer, I want it to be a little bit of rain, but more sun. Um, and between like 65 and 80, that's kind of where I would like it to be. And then fall, I'd like it to be like, see, I like when fall's like nice and crisp in the air. I don't like, that's the one thing I don't like about fall here in Oregon is it's still hot. <laughs> um, <clears throat> at least comparatively speaking. So, I think in the fall, I want it to be between like 40 and 65 degrees, I think. I think that would be good. Um, and then winter would be like between 30, or sorry, like 20 and 35 degrees. I think that'd be good. I like very moderate temperatures, I think I've decided. <laughs> um, I do really like hot weather, but like only in like vacation mode. I don't like living in hot weather, if that makes sense. Because if you have to work when it's hot, it's just, it's not fun. Um, like when you're, you know, on vacation, it's totally fine. Like when I was um, at my dad's house in uh, Lake Havasu City, Arizona, I was just sipping mixed drinks and hanging out in the pool all day listening to music. And it was like 115 degrees out outside, but you know, that was totally fine because like, I was just in vacation mode. I wasn't having to do anything. I was just laying around in the pool, soaking up the sun, you know. So, like, that's fine. I don't mind.
kind of being that hot when you're in vacation mode, but, um, that also, I don't know, there's, for, for some reason it feels less suffocating when you're in vacation mode, but the nice thing about, like, Havasu is it, there's actually, there's, well, it's on a huge lake, so there's actually some humidity in the air. It's not just, like, arid, dry, hot. There's a little bit of humidity, so it really kind of helps cut away from that, like, suffocating feeling of when the air is either way too dry or way too um, humid. Shouts out to all you um, Floridians and or even, like, Pennsylvanians or New Yorkers. Because I know, I know in the Northeast, or at least in, like, you know, New York, Pennsylvania area, it gets extremely humid in the summer. And in Florida, it's, like, twice as bad. <laughs> Um, so shout out to you guys, um, and your very humid, hot weather during the summer. So, yeah, I don't know, uh, I think Lake Havasu is a lot more bearable when it's hot, um, than say, like, I don't know, Phoenix or, um, even like Palm Springs, because there's just no water around, you know, to cut through some of the, the dryness. Um. I think that's why it is such a big destination for retirement people, because it's it feels more comfortable even when it's hot. Um, like I can withstand that temperature. Like I would sit all outside for hours on end in 115 degrees and just hang out in the pool, um, and it didn't really bother me. Don't get me wrong, I did get sunburned, but um, that's just because I was wet and in the pool. But I did put on sunscreen. I just wasn't applying it enough. So, but. Yeah, I don't know. In vacation mode, I don't mind when it's hot, but if I'm, like, just living life and have to work, I like it when it's, like, 55, <laughs> 50 degrees. Like, just not, not hot, just very mild, very mild temperature. I get really hot really easily, so. And if I'm cold, the only time I'm really cold is, or the only thing that really gets cold on me is my toes and my fingers. I don't know why, but. And my ears. Oh man, even when it's like 40 degrees outside. Like, I remember I was uh, I was hiking uh, a couple weeks ago. And I didn't have like a, a beanie on or anything. And the wind was just whipping through my ears. And it was, just, oh man, it just, it made my ears ache and burn all at the same time. And it wasn't even that cold out. But my ears are really sensitive to, to cold air for some reason. It would just, like, it made it feel like my, like, I had an ear infection or something is what it felt like. Because it would just ache inside of my ears. It's not fun. Um, so, yeah, I guess my ears, like, my extremities, my ears, my fingers, and my toes, that's what gets cold, if I'm cold. Other than that, I'm pretty much perfectly fine. But um, the only time I, my hands really get cold is if there's not enough circulation so if i'm wearing like too tight of gloves um or too much glove or whatever or if my hands are wet and it's cold out other than that my hands normally stay warm like i remember i remember like walking in the middle of winter with like just jeans and a hoodie on in alaska and it'd be like 10 degrees outside and i'd walk around with no gloves and my hands would be perfectly fine like actually really pretty warm uh, in, unless I put them, like, in the snow or something, because then they'd get wet, and then they'd be really cold and go numb. But for the most part, though, um, yeah, I don't know, for the most part, my hands stay warm pretty well. My toes are, I think they're more susceptible to getting cold, but, yeah, I think um, my hands do pretty well, though. Um, I don't know, I was just on about that and I'm losing my train of thought you know I think that's one thing that I do is like I'll get into like a good rambling spree right but then I think about I'm like I think about the fact that I'm you know I guess doing a good job quote unquote not really that's not really what I'm trying to say but basically my point is that like if I think about the fact that I'm rambling that I can't <laughs> that I stop <laughs> I lose my train of thought and then I have to think of something else to talk about <laughs> I don't know why my brain is like that, but, but it is, so, um, I don't know, <laughs> I guess I'll just keep talking about, 
weather. <laughs> um, Valentine's Day is coming up the day after tomorrow, and um, my co-workers went and got Valentine's for everybody, which was really nice of them. So, we're going to have way too much candy. <laughs> um, so, that'll be fun on Valentine's Day. Um, and, I don't know. I don't have a Valentine. <laughs> Not officially, anyways. I asked one of my coworkers if she wanted to go get dinner with me on Valentine's Day just for fun. Um, I'm not sure, if, not sure if we're going to or not. We'll see. But um, I thought it'd be fun just to, you know, go do something. Um, like, you know, as platonic friends. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I don't know. What's your guys' Valentine's Day plans? Let me know in the comments below. Um, do you guys have, do you have a Valentine? <laughs> it's okay if you don't. I'll be your Valentine. <laughs> hey, maybe, maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll film a video on Valentine's Day and upload it. So you guys can, um, you guys can have a Valentine with you. <laughs> um, is that Sunday night? I'll probably make it a little shorter, but, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe, we'll see, we'll see, I'm not gonna make any promises about it, um, I am sorry for taking a whole week to upload another video when I said that I was going to <laughs> increase my frequency, I honestly didn't even realize it had been a whole week, I was like, oh crap, <laughs> I need to film a video, so, I've just kind of been all over the place, I guess, so, um, I wasn't really paying attention to the time frame, so, but I am, you know, back again, obviously, so, um, and I do plan on filming another video in a few days, if not Valentine's Day, because like I said, I'm trying to up my frequency a little bit so that we can get to that 1,000 subscriber milestone already, jeez, it's taking forever and a half, <laughs> I'm so impatient, I just, I want this to happen so bad, um, and I know it will, it's just going to take time, and I just have to keep, I have to be consistent, and I have to keep uploading when I say I'm going to upload, and I don't, I think that's my biggest thing, is I need to get better at being, like, on a consistent schedule, because that helps you guys know when to show up to see a new video, you know, so, because, I guess it's just weird, because, like, I, it just depends on the day, but sometimes it's easier for me to film during the daytime, sometimes it's easier to film during the evening, because, you know, I have roommates, and I can't just force them to always be quiet, I did tell them to be quiet, um, while I was filming in here right now, but they're doing pretty good, I can kind of hear them, but it's not bad, um, but yeah, I don't know, I also, I want to get to a thousand subscribers as well, because I want, uh, Peyton to be able to make a video, um, she wants to do something on my channel, and I think it'd be kind of cool, a little bit change, a little bit different change of pace, so, um, tell your friends, tell your family <laughs> to come listen to this weirdo whisper in their ears, so that, um, he can get a thousand subscribers <laughs> and start making a little bit of money, <laughs> and so that his friend can put a video on here as well. Um, yeah, also, let me know what you guys want to see, I want more recommendations. Um, I just, I, I feel like my rambles do so well, like, <laughs> I don't, I don't need variety, I guess, <laughs> um, and you know, obviously I, I film and upload videos that I just feel like filming too, not just, um, not just whatever, you know, pleases the crowd, but pleases my mob of 762 people, <laughs> which, you know, that's actually kind of a lot of people when you think about it. And it is really cool. Um, yeah, like, just envisioning 750 people. That's actually quite a few people. So, gosh. Can you can you even imagine what a million people looks like in one space? I think the biggest crowds I've ever seen were at EDC in Las Vegas, which is a giant music festival, which has like 400,000 attendees over the course of the weekend, and I think the biggest crowd I've been in at, like, one of the stages was, like, 15, 20,000, and that was a lot of people, I can't imagine what it would be like to have a million people just standing in front of you, like, that, that's insane, just having, like, that many 
subscribers. That's, wow. I don't know. Even a hundred thousand. That's nuts. Um, baby steps though, right? <laughs> we gotta get to a thousand first. <laughs> um, I think it would really be cool, like, and a little bit more achievable to get, like, probably fifty thousand subscribers does help the visibility of your channel for sure I don't know I think the algorithm's a little bit more in your favor when you hit a thousand subscribers so I hope that that's the case once I hit it but um, I don't know I'm not really too keen on making like something that I think is gonna go viral because I guess I want like a consistent growth that is organic and you know can to stay as opposed to you know one or two big videos and then everyone unsubscribes you know and I make you know a decent amount of money but then nobody watches my videos after so then my YouTube career just tanks I don't know I just I'm doing this the right way you know I'm not I'm not taking any shortcuts I'm not cutting any corners I just want to build a real community of people who want to watch my content in a very real way I just want this to find the right people and the people who need it and the people who want to see it, you know. So, that's all my aim is for this channel. And I hope you guys feel like I'm a, you know, a genuine person. And, like, I'm not um, being fake or anything with you. Because I'm really not. <laughs> um, you know, I think people put on a, um, a facade, even unknowing not in like a bad way, I'm not trying to demean that, I think, um, you know, that's totally fine, I think, you know, because it's not even like you're playing a character, I think there's a facade that comes naturally, um, but honestly, I don't speak to my friends any differently than the way that I speak to you guys, um, I mean, I'm a little more censored, but <laughs> that's because advertisers, <laughs> you know, and, um, being monetized and stuff, um, once I get to that point, I don't want that to be squandered because I, um, am too crass, but, um, I don't speak to you guys really any differently than I speak to anybody else in my daily life, um, just cause, I don't know, I think you guys, um, deserve that courtesy from me, in a way, I don't know, not that, like, I owe you something, but, you know, I don't know, I guess I just don't feel like myself is important, you know, in every aspect, and if being myself on camera can be my job, I'm absolutely gonna do that, <laughs> that's a weird thing about it too, is like, I actually really enjoy filming these videos, because I just sit down and I just vent about my life, it's quite cathartic for me, <laughs> it's a little bit self-serving, but, you know, it is, there's, there's cath catharsis involved for myself, so, it's funny when I, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh man, I gotta film, but then I sit down, and as soon as I start filming and like actually getting into it, I'm like, yeah, this is, this is fun, I like this, you know, like, it's relaxing, it's cathartic, it makes me reflect on my week and what I'm going through and what's happening in my life, and it's a very good outlet for, it's, it's therapeutic, you know, I don't, I just, I like it, it's a very good stress outlet, and I think it's a healthy way of managing your stress. So, I don't know, I think stuff like this, or like journaling, you know, anything where you're just getting your thoughts out, I think it's really healthy, I think it's really helpful. So, and I know my, my rambles are pretty aimless and random, but um, regardless of that, though, the word vomit really does help me feel more normal. <laughs> so, thank you guys for listening to my word vomit. I appreciate it. Um, this channel helps me feel sane, if that makes sense. Um, and it's just such a low maintenance kind of YouTube channel. Like, I couldn't ask for an easier YouTube channel. I just talk about whatever I want <laughs> and upload it. And then hundreds of people watch it, so, or even thousands.
thousands sometimes. So that's kind of weird. That's cool.
his what is Katy Perry call her fans? Like Kit Kats or something. <laughs> I don't know, you, you know what I mean? Like celebrity call um their fans certain things. And YouTubers kinda do the same thing, so I don't know. But yeah, this is my little world. And you are all citizens of it. <laughs> um, all seven hundred and sixty two of you. It's interesting to see, and I don't even mean this in a bad way, because honestly, it doesn't really bother me. Um, it's interesting to see people, like, will unsubscribe, right? Like, I'll, I'll look at my subscriber count. It'll be at, like, 750, right? But then uh, I'll go back and it'll be, like, 749. Like, I lost subscri subscriber. I get, I'm, I'm curious, like, what, what makes people unsubscribe from a channel? Because I guess, like, I, I'm not very avid, an avid, I'm not a very avid unsubscriber, I've probably unsubscribed from 10 channels ever, um, and it was just strictly because of like, you know, bad, really bad things that they did, so, um, I don't know, it's just, it's interesting to see, like I said, I really, it doesn't really bother me, um, like, oh no, one person, <laughs> you know, like, it, there's always three more that <laughs> supersede that, and then, you know, I go from 749 to 752, or whatever, it's just interesting to watch that happen, because I don't under, I don't understand, like, what, what makes somebody want to unsubscribe from something, I guess, because I, I'm not in that same frame of mind, I guess, where I, I'm that gung-ho about <laughs> who I'm subscribed to on YouTube. I don't know. It's just interesting to, to see, I guess. The only perspective I know is my own, right? So, um, but I think I'm gonna shut up now, um, and let you guys, and leave you guys alone. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching this, um, this full-length ramble. Um, I appreciate you guys. You are the best. All 762 of you are the best. Um, thank you guys for 762 subscribers. Um, please, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Ring that bell for notification if you haven't. <laughs> Leave a comment below um, about literally anything. I don't care, but hopefully it pertains to the channel a little bit. <laughs> but it's alright um, if it's not. But yeah, leave a comment, subscribe, like, or dislike it if you don't like it, whatever, whatever suit floats your boat, right? Um, and I will see you in, um, a couple days. Maybe you'll see me on Valentine's Day. No promises, but we'll see. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for